testimonies upon testimonies testimonies we have not even taken are more than the ones that uh, we have taken testimonies still on ground so many they are just pouring and pouring and pour. and the people are very wise because they know when they testify sometimes you hear people say this is my fourth testimony this is my fifth testimony when you testify you are saying lord i want more but when god does something for you and you keep it you hold it you don't talk about it that may be um, the very last or one of the very last you may get but as you share it you open more opportunities for more testimony so if you have a testimony you've not shared with us that's not proper you're actually you know holding back others from coming so welcome to one that's without number today right now touch the like button what i'm doing is sacrificial spending time to minister every day so do the same thing now yours is less sacrificial just touch the like button so that somebody will be less just the same way god is passing through me whenever you touch the like button you, you click on that button by blessing to someone you are ministering to someone's life you are impacting someone's life so touch the like button right now and also share the link to all your contacts all the contacts you can share the link to them and let's begin to pray there's a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. I'm believing God that we are getting to that level in, in our work with God. Yet things are going to begin shifting in the spirit realm. Amen. There's going to be openings on all sides. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of the Lord says in 1 Corinthians 3.21, all things are yours. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what you are expecting. 1 Corinthians 3.21. So let's not glory in men but no all things are yours everything is yours Amen. whatever you want in life is yours and that is why nobody gets proud nobody gets haughty or high-minded because i mean first corinthians 4 7 they said what makes you differ from others what do you have that you did not receive and if you receive it why do you act as if you have not received it so you received it from the lord so today we are going to receive so much from him Amen. and all i want you to do is just to be sensitive and to get in the mood of prayer so touch the like button now and share the link people are groomed in prayers wonders without number is a ministering angel a prayer platform online when people are groomed in the act of praying you're watching right now on television there's an impartation coming to you mm -hmm. to empower you to pray mm -hmm. people are groomed in the act of praying and falling in love with god in the midst of all of that and just swing into action and begin to release manifestations. It's going to happen in your life. Amen. It's going to become a season of grace, Amen. a season of plenty, Amen. a season of power, Amen. a season of increase, Amen. a season of glory, Amen. a season of favor. Amen. So call those you can call and touch the like button and share the link. Heaven is going to be open unto us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Be it unto me according to your words, according to your promises. I can stand secure, shine upon my heart, the truth that sets me free. According to your words, oh Lord. Unto me, be it unto me according to your words, according to your promises. I can stand secured, shine upon my heart, the truth that sets me free. According to your words, oh Lord, be it unto me, be it unto me, according to your words, according to your promises, I can stand secured, shine upon my heart. The truth that sets me free According to your words, oh Lord Be it unto me Shine upon my heart The truth that sets me free According to your words, oh Lord 
Lead unto me. Let your power flow in this place. Let your healing come in this place. I call for signs and wonders in this place. Let your glory come in this place. Let your power flow in this place. Let your healing come in this place. I call for signs and wonders in this place. Let your glory fall. In this place, in this place, let your healing flow. In this place, I call for signs and wonders. In this place, let your healing come. Emmanuel, my comforter, Emmanuel, my redeemer, Emmanuel, my provider, you want him a sign of wonder, Emmanuel, my comforter, Emmanuel, my redeemer. Emmanuel, my provider, you want me in my sign of wonder. Emmanuel, my comforter, Emmanuel, my redeemer, Emmanuel, my provider, you want me in my sign of wonder. Emmanuel, my comforter, Emmanuel, my redeemer. Emmanuel, my provider, you want to hear my sign of wonder. Oh, she yak barare on, she yak barare on, she yak barare on. Own your mind. Hallelujah. Amen. In Genesis 27, verse 6 and 7. Genesis 27, verse 6 and verse 7. And Rebecca spake unto Jacob a son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau, thy brother, saying, Bring me venison and make me savory meat that I may eat and bless thee before the day, before the Lord, bless thee before the Lord, before my death. Rebekah said, I heard thy father say. Now, this was the foundation for the conflict 
that Jacob and Esau had. This was the foundation. The mother actually instigated this conflict. But this is it. I heard thy father say. So it was on the platform of privileged information. The whole life, the whole family was messed up. Brothers separated. Two brothers. Do you know what it means for two brothers to be at loggerheads? Because of privileged information. How does that connect to our prayer today? There are people who are contending and fighting us because of the privileged informations they have about us. Jesus prayed to Peter. Thou art Peter, Mark, Mark, Matthew 16, 18. Upon this rock I build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Satan had it. Hell had it. It was a privileged information. But in Matthew 26 from verse 69, Peter was so under attack and the Bible says that he denied Christ before a damn cell. He said, I don't know him. From verse 69 to 75. Why? The privileged information that the forces of hell and the kingdoms of darkness heard about Peter. That Peter was going to become the head of the church. He was going to become the head of the disciples. He was going to be the rock. That was what the enemy was fighting. Most of the battles in your life is because of the privileged information that the enemy has gathered about you. I heard thy father say. Based on that information, she went into action. Some of the previous information are things that they have gone far to find out from diviners about your life. This man, who is he? This brother, who is he? And they are taught things about you. They go into action. Some of the privileged information are things that came out of your own mouth. I'm planning that after school, I'm going to do I'm planning to get married. After marriage, I'm going to travel abroad. I'm planning. Some of the privileged information came from your mouth. Some of the privileged information came from your social media handles. Yourself, by yourself, with your hand, with, by yourself, on your phone. You can't rest. You post everything. You post everything. You are eating. You are posting your food. You post food. You post, you post room. You post, what is your problem? Post your work. Post what you do. Don't post your life. Even if you're in the entertainment world, post your work, sell your work. You're entering a car, you say, I'm, you're doing a video. I'm entering a car. No, you're trekking. I'm entering a car. Okay, I've just gone to my car. I just entered my car right now and I'm driving. What is all that? What is all that? Everything. Every, you post everything. You buy a wristwatch, you post it. You buy a car, you post it. You are planning to buy a house. You have not bought it. Or you are planning a new house on my mind. You post it. So there's no need for them to go to native doctors to attack you. They just know. So go to the handle. It's a new house that's coming. Oh yeah. Frustrating. You post everything. You are giving out too much information. You are giving out too much information. This world is wicked. Nobody is telling you to live in fear. But be unpredictable. Be unpredictable. Gotta be careful. I heard thy father say, Satan cannot see. Satan is not as powerful as you think. He's very structured. Satan is not cultured. He's structured. Look at what they say. Matthew chapter two, verse seven and eight. Herod said to to the wise men, "Go check where he has been born and bring me word. And bring me word." Matthew two, seven and eight. And he called them privately. Say, what time did this appear? You go. When you find him, bring me word. Bring me information. He's on the platform of that information. I will go into action. To stop his manifestation. Many of us today, they are using privilege. Just imagine somebody had your boss trying to favor you. You see, this man, he has done well. I think, I think I'll do something for him. He got that privilege information and he went into action. To stop his manifestation. That's what we're going to pray. That anyone using privileged information about me against me to fight me, Father, scatter them. Amen. I heard thy father say. I want to ask you a question. How come?
from the very day that David was to be anointed as king, that was the day of four days that he was in the bush. Samuel said in 1 Samuel 16 verse 1, God said to Samuel, say, don't mourn over Saul. Go to the house of Jesse. I've gotten myself a king. Information when I've gone ahead, even to the elders that was coming. That was the day he was not at home. God said to Abraham, he said, I see shall be strangers, you know, shall be, you know, in captivity in a strange land for 400 years. 400 years. God cannot lie. Genesis 15, 13. But as soon as the information was released, Satan began to fight it. Exodus chapter 12 and verse 40. The Bible said they were there 430 years. Satan fought it. God said 400, Satan fought it. And they were there for 430. Satan added 30 extra until Moses came up. I heard thy father say, Speak unto thy brother. So, what the enemy is holding against us, what the enemy is using against us, against our life, Satan is not as powerful as we think. No, he's using those privileged information. So, you start making mistakes. Look at a man like, 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 like uh, uh, Joseph, he announced his dream with his mouth. Genesis 37. He announced his dream. First time he came, he said, I dreamed the dream. The brother said, Okay, what was the dream? Okay, I saw that, I saw that, I saw that. They said, Okay. He came back again. I dreamed another dream. Now, this is stupidity. The first dream you dreamed, they couldn't interpret. Why going back to people that can't interpret your dream? You went back again. That's life. If people can't interpret a dream, they corrupt it. If they can't interpret it, they destroy it. I dreamed the dream. Came back again. I have dreamed another dream. He said, Okay. From his mouth. Look at verse 9. And he dreamed yet another dream and told his brethren. He said, I've dreamed a dream more. Behold the sun, the moon, the star. The level star did make obeisance to me. Made obeisance to me. His father rebuked. And he told it to his father and to his brothers. Can you imagine? You told your brothers. They, they, they didn't interpret you. You now went and told your father. That's why they sold him. Because they didn't sell that boy. The way I'm saying it. Hey, you have gone around the old village. You told your brothers, they didn't interpret it. You want to tell your father. I'm sure you would have told your uncle. The uncle will go and tell the king of the village. Whoever can help you hurts you. When people can't help you, they hurt you. You've got to be wise. Once you're a man of prayer, most of the things I teach or I say, you start learning them. I learned character. I learned thinking pattern in the place of prayer. They use that against him. Guess what they said? It's clear the dreamer is coming. In other words, the man who gives out too much information. You see, Joseph learned from it. He learned. That was why when he got to Egypt, he never told Pharaoh about his father. He never said anything. When his father now, when the father was set to come, that's when he approached Pharaoh. Pharaoh was shocked. You still have a father? He said, ah. <laughs> King, you understand? This is my mouth. I, have, I zip it. I don't talk anyhow anymore. I zip my mouth. What I went through because of this mouth. It was so bad that when he saw his brothers the first day, he didn't tell them it was Joseph. He kept quiet. This is the same parrot. Sorry, the ex-parrot. The same guy that will not close his mouth before. This time, he learned by experience. When he saw his brothers, he ignored them. He ignored them. He didn't say anything to them. He learned. Say you, me, talk. No. I've suffered. This my mouth has put me in so much trouble. So much trouble. I'm not saying anything. He refused to say anything. Why? Because he knew that the battle of his life was because he was giving too much information. And there are privileged information people have about you. They were told that they are about to send you money. They began to fight. They fought physically. They fought manipulatively. Before you know, you started, you started offending the person who wanted to help you. Somebody promised to help you. They had a young man look at you and say, this relationship I'm taking to the next level. I think I have to get married. Bam! That's when they bring information to you. Ah, that person, they start saying all kinds of lies. And at the end of the day, you believe that, that lie and begin to act towards it, not knowing that there's a plan on ground which they were privileged to hear the information. I really wish somebody's following me today. And at the end of the day,
We are blaming God for things that we cost for ourselves. We are blaming God for things that we cost for ourselves. When, 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 <laughs> when Jonathan died and Saul died, you know what David said? Tell it not in God. Publish it not in Ashkelon. Let not the hear this, not let, let, let the armies. Let not the doctors of the Philistines hear it and rejoice. Our the mighty fall. Let not the daughters, daughters. David knew what, what his problem was. His problem was not armies. His problem was the daughters of the Philistines. Let them not hear that a king has been removed. <laughs> not the not the armies. Let not the daughters hear this. Tell it not in that. Publish it not in the street of Askelon. Lest the daughters of the Philistines rejoice. Lest the daughters twice. Twice. David knew his problem. His problem was not army. He said, let them not think it's possible to dethrone a king. Tell it not in that. Verse 21. Tell it not in that. You mountains of Gibra, let there be no dew, neither let any rain. There be rain upon you, nor feed of offerings. For there the shield of the mighty is vilely cast away. The shield of Saul as though he had not been anointed with oil. Anyone using privileged information about you to fight you, today I scatter their plan. Amen. Today I scatter their agenda. Amen. Today I scatter their agenda. Amen. Today I scatter their agenda. Amen. Scatter their agenda. Amen. Daniel suddenly knew. Hey, he said, I found the information. I found that information. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 9, verse 2. I Daniel understood by books. He understood at the time. For the people of God to be out of captivity had come. The 70 years of desolation in Jerusalem had come. Had come. He knew by book. So the information was a privileged one. And they began to pray. The priest of Pesah knew that information. That's what he used to keep the people perpetually bound. He began to pray. Daniel began to pray. Daniel began to pray. Daniel began to pray. Daniel began to pray. Some came from your mouth, like I said. You told your friend who you thought was a friend. You told a colleague who you thought was a colleague. You told a relative who you thought was a relative. You told someone you felt was like a brother and sister to you. Some of them, they got them by divination. They went to divine to check what, what will be the outcome of your life. What will you turn out into becoming? They went to do all of that and 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 found out they were told what they were told and all of that and they began to fight and began to see how they can twat it how they can neutralize corrupt nullify water down so we're going to pray today and when you pray this prayer pray it with all your heart anyone using privileged information about me to fight me Oh Lord, scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Anyone using privileged information about me to fight me, oh Lord, scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Anyone using privileged information about me to fight me. The oh Lord. Scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Somebody say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Anyone, Anyone using privileged information about me to fight me. Oh Lord, scatter their intention, frustrate their agenda. Scatter their intention, frustrate their agenda. Anyone using privileged information about me to fight me. Oh Lord, scatter their intention, frustrate their agenda. 
Il 
In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
We are taking the second prayer still from that portion of scripture. The Bible says it was Rebecca. This is heartbreaking. The mother. We are going to pray a prayer. This is not heartless. This is practical. It's real. The mother was the one that instigated this whole battle. We will pray this prayer. Anyone in my family line behind my family battles, Lord, expose them by fire. Yeah. It was the mother. It was inside the family. The battles of the family was instigated by someone in the family. Anyone in my family line, that means Matana, Patana, relative, anyone in my family line behind my family battles, Oh Lord, expose them. Yeah. Make sure you are not the one behind. Them. Make sure you are not the one behind the battles. Anyone in my family line behind my family battles, oh Lord, expose them by fire. Yeah. Somebody say, My father, my father. My, my father, father, my father. father. Shout it louder than that. My my father, father, my father. Father. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, of Jesus. I begin to pray. Anyone in my family line, my family battle, oh Lord, expose them by fire. In Matthew 10 36, it says, Man's enemies are the members of his own house. Matthew 10 36. So we are praying that prayer, we are praying that prayer from a level, a well of revelation. It was Joseph's brothers that sold him. It was Judas that betrayed Christ. It was Cain that killed Abel. Anyone in my family line, behind my family battles, oh Lord, expose them by fire. Yeah, my, father, my father, my father, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I begin to pray. Anyone in my family line, family battle, expose them by fire. 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 Expose Let's go, 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 let's go
Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Anyone using privileged information about you to fight you, I frustrate their intention and scatter the agenda. Amen. Anyone using privileged information about you. To perpetually put you in a combat engage you in a combat i frustrate their intention i scatter the agenda Amen. there are 12 footballers nine of them have got serious injuries and these injuries have become so spiritual because when they think they're getting well and okay it comes up again one of them once a lion appears to you in your dream and you see that lion you wake up battles all of you those who are under with injuries the lord is healing you amen i'm seeing three others who are frustrated because they're not being favored in their career in their footballers the lord said to tell you he is visiting you now amen, amen. Somebody by the name of Gilbert Danso. Gilbert Danso, you are a Ghanaian. I don't know what your wife has got to do with medicals. Lord said to tell you that he's rewriting the history of your life. Amen. Benjamin, what's that? You pray for Benjamin. That he does not go to jail. I should pray for Benjamin so that Benjamin does not go to jail. And the curse on Benjamin's father is broken today. Amen. Serve his father. Amen. Serve his siblings and loved ones. Amen. Amen. 
I decree upon you. I receive it. Somebody has a child called Emmanuel. Emmanuel is under intense demonic attack of restlessness, autism. Today he is free. Amen. Amen. This is somebody watching from Ethiopia. You lost your mom, you lost your sisters. You're losing people in quick successions. And they're happening strangely, strangely, strangely. Right now, let the killer be killed. Amen. Amen. And anyone also hearing the sound of my voice who has been experiently experiencing deaths in the family, right now, let the, 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 the killer be killed. Amen. Amen. Let the killer be killed. Amen. Amen. I decree anyone in your family yes. that is beyond the family battles, Father, expose them by fire. Amen. Expose them by fire. Amen. Expose them by fire. Amen. This is your left hand, you need a miracle. Mettez la main, là vous avez besoin de miracle. Whatever is hurting you. Et quel que soit votre problème. This is your left hand. Mettez votre main gauche. Stretch your right hand. Étendez votre main droite. Screen of your television. À votre télévision. A mobile phone. À votre téléphone. iPad. À votre iPad. Laptops. À votre ordinateur. Desktops. Votre desktop. I command. Je commande. Mm -hmm. Be here. So hey! Hey! Problem with the lungs. Le problème avec les poumons. God is just healing you. Le Seigneur. Oui. There's a certain Cedric. Il y a quelqu'un qui s'appelle Cedric. I have a respiratory attack. Vous avez les problèmes respiratoires. God said you are free. Yeah. Yeah. It's a man holding his stomach. Un homme qui garde son estomac. Terrible pain. Il y a des douleurs terribles. You're literally crying. Et vous pleurez. Because you don't know if your stomach wants to burst. Et votre estomac veut exploser. Right now. Maintenant. The spirit of God. L'esprit de Dieu. Touch him. Touch him! 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 Touch him!